a salt and pepper rubbed filet of char seared crispy on the grill, served with a zesty fresh made salsa. Like us, you'll be adding this main course idea to your make again and again and again list. Seared Arctic char with fresh peach salsa. If you've been here before, you know we love fresh fish and seafood recipes, but gotta tell you, this recipe has blown us out of the water. There are only three steps to make it, but make sure you follow to the very end of this video because I've got some side dish suggestions for this recipe. Amazing. Let's start with step number one. We're gonna prepare the fish. Today we're gonna to be grilling a filet of Arctic char, a delicious mild fish that sits somewhere between trout and salmon. The flesh ranges in color from light pink to deep red. My fish guy started out with a four and a half pound Arctic char. I'm gonna be cooking one of the fillets from the char. It weighs about one and three quarter pounds, which is about 30 ounces. It'll serve four guests perfectly. Getting the fish ready for the grill, a light drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, then a sprinkle of kosher salt and black pepper. That is it. On to step number two, the grill. Before lighting the grill, place a flat griddle onto the grates, then light the left side of the grill only, close the lid and we're gonna heat to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. That griddle insert needs to be really hot. We suggest giving your barbecue about 15 minutes to come to temperature before you add the fish. The 15 minutes gives you a little bit of time to make this very delicious fresh peach salsa. Complete with juicy fresh peaches, red pepper, baby cukes, red onion, jalapeno, cilantro, lime juice, and seasoning, it's perfect with this seared fish recipe. Now step three, where we grill the fish. Heading to the grill, you're gonna need olive oil plus. We suggest taking a lifter and tongs to help take the fish off the grill when it's done. Next, we're grill side, lift the lid, carefully add a drizzle of olive oil onto the griddle, about two tablespoons. Then add the filet of char, flesh side down. Close the lid right away, set your timer for five minutes exactly. Repeat after me, I will not lift the lid to sneak a peek. You gotta trust us on this, we tested the recipe a number of times, so if that griddle was hot, if your barbecue is running at 500 degrees, this recipe will work perfectly, watch. Lifting the lid, you can see the flesh is bubbling, but the skin has blistered, it's almost puffed up. Now carefully using the lifter and tongs if you need them, lift the filet off the grill over to a serving platter. Gently turn it over. This is perfectly crispy seared Arctic char. Look how it's still sizzling. And this is how we're enjoying it. To serve a sprinkle of freshly chopped herb, lemon wedges on the side. Cutting into it with a sharp knife, the flesh has a crispy crackle. Lifting a portion over to a dinner plate, you can see how juicy it is. Back to the main filet, look how tender, flaky. This is perfection, friends. Because this meal is so divine, we don't want you lost in the kitchen. We have paired this meal with two of our easiest, most flavorful side dishes. Add spoonfuls of easy green beans with lemon and dill and our best grilled sweet peppers recipe. Last thing, the fresh peach salsa. Add a few spoonfuls onto the fish and then maybe an extra one or two on the side. Ready? The full recipe is up at weekendatthecottage.com. When you're visiting our website, please subscribe to it. Look for this video and the video for those delicious side dishes on our dedicated YouTube channel. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And then finally, when a main course looks this delicious, take a picture of it. Post it on your favorite socials using hashtag weekendatthecottage when you do on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Seared Arctic char with fresh peach salsa. Look at that, perfectly crispy salsa on the side. Mm.